Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, well, you may have seen a few days ago I did a Rogue One minifigure um, review. So now I'm doing a updated figure review because I have updated a lot of the figures and I have a few more figures added in here that I can't wait to show you because I think they look great. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So, we'll start from the end here. We have Chirrut Imway. Chirrut Imway was obviously from the Hover Tank set, so he's not a new character. So, we can just put him back in the line. And then we have the best friend, Baze Malbus, who took a while. So you may see, like, but everything has changed about this figure. Um, the torso, everything is different. So I gave him the, I don't remember the name of the alien. It's the alien from the, um, I forget what it's called. It's like the um, Encounter on Jakku set, the alien from that set. The Tito. Yeah, the Tito, that's what it's called. Because it had a lot of, like, grenades and bombs on it, and I thought... Since he's kind of a heavily armed character, I thought that would suit him. And then the gray hips with the uruk legs, I gave him as well. Uh, from last time that I used. For uh, Jin, actually. But I switched him up. Um, he's got Bard the Bowman's head. Because I, I thought it looked better. He still has the Kylo Ren hairpiece, but other than that, everything's pretty much changed. Um, the blaster is the same. The backpack, it's, I changed it a little bit. I added this, and then I added a chain. So, it looks like the ammo chain that connects to his gun. And that's pretty much it. Great minifigure in my mind. The Baze Malbus minifigure. So, there we go. So, he can hang out over here with Chirith. And then we'll move on to a minifigure that was not in here. Oh yeah, and shout out to most of these figures is for, um... Well, not really a shout out, I'm just, um, giving thanks to them for giving me the inspiration on making these minifigures. Michael MGF, I believe his YouTube channel name is, and... Sorry, I'm just trying to move the camera in a little bit, and, um, Legomatic, I think is the other one's name. I watched their videos on their minifigure showcases that they made, and they look great, so, in their inspiration. But anyway, we'll get on to Bodhi Rook, the pilot, who is not in my last character review. So, he just has a plain blaster, which is kind of fine. He has the... one of the re resistance troopers, I believe, torsos, from the battle pack. He has the Jack Sparrow face, because it's the best one I could find. And then the Will Turner, like, kind of, whatever you call that, bun on the back. And then just plain gray legs. So, this figure is not very detailed, but I still think it looks pretty awesome. Overall. So, there you go. That's the next minifigure. Moving on to the next, it's Cassian Andor, who was not changed at all, really, that much. I changed his hands from being the brown gloves to skin-colored hands. He still has brown pants, he still has this, like, Hoth torso, but he has the, um, he has a, like, a light, the, uh, smaller brown hairpiece. He still has the Tony Stark face, but this is, like, the hairpiece that you would get with, like, Like the Marty McFly hairpiece right here. So, you see that hairpiece. I obviously didn't get it from him. I got it from, like, the minifigure from Creationary, because I'm not going to tear apart Marty McFly, obviously. So, that's Cassian. Not changed too much about him. Um, I'm going to move my camera down a little bit. It's a little too high there. I think it's better. It's closer here. Jin Urso was not changed that much at all. She still has the brown bun, obviously, the ray face, the jacket with the tan arms is not changed at all, she now has the satchel here, which is meant to, like, be, like, holding the Death Star plans, and then she just has plain brown pants, and still the same, like, type of blaster I made for her last time, 
And last but certainly not least, the best, or not the best figure. I think that, in my personal opinion, I feel like Bay's in this whole collection here. I think Bay's might be the best minifigure. Oh, there goes Cassian. Oh, yeah, and, um, thanks to Brick Bros UK for giving me the inspiration on changing up my Cassian and or fig. I still thought the torso I made was fine, but I like their hairpiece choice, so they helped me out in that term. So thanks to them. Uh, but anyway, our last minifigure is Director Krennic. So this is obviously the main villain in the movie. And uh, you might be a little mad at me because you're like, Oh, look at his face! You just gave him the angry clone face. Um... Yeah, that is what I gave him, but I think it's the best face, in my opinion. And if you remember, in my advent calendar videos, I got that, like, white uh, Hoth Trooper torso and legs. I used the same torso and legs, but I changed the, the hands to black gloves. Um, obviously, he should have black boots, but I just thought that looked better, because it, it's kind of gray. It's gray, so... It looked better than nothing. And then his hair is the Luke Skywalker Jedi dark tan hair, because I didn't have any other dark tan hair. I'll probably give it back. And then a white cape, which you can get from Gandalf the White or Saruman from the Lord of the Rings franchise. And then, obviously, you have to have angry, uh, angry clone face there. And then the uh, just a small gray blaster for... Krennic here. There's the May figure. I actually don't remember if there's back printing. Oh, yeah, there's back printing. But the back printing does not look too accurate. Because I thought this was the best torso for, like, all the buttons and badges all over him. And then I thought, like, I don't have a good enough torso. And then I was like, oh, that looks okay. So. But there you guys have it. That's my minifigure update for the Rogue One minifigures. I think they look great. I think they turned out way better. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos. Obviously, you don't have to. Just do it if you want to and if you like my videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed. My, this video is carrying out pretty long. So I'm just going to say have a great day. Take care. Bye.